Hey people, this is uh, Scott Baxter from Scott Baxter Photography, Dallas, Texas. Check out the gear reports. It's awesome stuff, man. Gearreport.com. Go check it out. Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report here again at the Lucid Optics Ballistic Summit 2019 with Jason Wilson, who is going to tell us a bit about their binoculars line. Yeah, so about two years ago, we started into the observation side of the optics, deviated from our traditional weapons mounted platform optics. And since surveillance and hunting is a big portion of our customer base through the law enforcement and sporting channels, we had lots of requests for a high resolution optic that was really, really light, mm -hmm. that carried the performance but didn't break the bank, true to lucid optics form. Right. So we went to task and drew them out. We went with an open frame, um, glass bedded polymer housing, which makes them extremely light. And we are using ED lenses in this optic to make it as much resolution as entirely possible. Gave them twist up eye cups, a very detailed diopter. Now it's not a locking or a, a, a metric diopter by any stretch, right. but it works very, very well and stays in place. And then we have a, a, a very easy ergonomically to use focus wheel. And you can do everything from a seven foot close focus out to infinity with these things. Right. And now they are 42 millimeter objective lenses. So they gather a whole lot of light. And this happens to be the eight magnification pair. Right. Exceptional resolution. Um, with the ED glass, we're getting color accuracy and contrast that honestly compare with models that are three times the cost of these. At a $640 MSRP, they're an exceptional value. Right, so we're here at the NRA Whittington Center in yep. Raton, New Mexico, and you can see for miles and miles, which is probably not unusual to you coming from <laughs> Wyoming, right. but you know, uh, Gear Report, we're headquartered in Central North Carolina, and there are trees everywhere, and rolling hills you can't see that far. So uh, I don't get a chance to look at great distances through binoculars that often, except maybe while boating out on the water. And I thought I had a reasonably decent pair of binoculars that I kept on the boat. And that's my experience with binoculars. And I thought I had a feel for how useful they could be at what distance. Uh, so then a couple days ago when we get here, I walk outside at dusk, it's starting to get dark and am trying to figure out what, what the airport, and I figured out it was an airport, but it's a mile or three Blinking blue from lights a, over here? Yes, yeah. and I'm a pilot, so you would think I would recognize airport lights, but sure. for whatever reason, I'm sure there were no adult beverages involved, but <laughs> I didn't get it until I pulled these out and looked, and the, the clarity was really impressive to me. At the range a little while ago today, uh, you pulled out some, you know, what people traditionally think of as high-end binoculars, and Caleb was doing kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. Right. He spoke favorably about, you know, what would you say, a quarter or a third of the cost of the other ones? A quarter yeah. of the cost, pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he spoke very favorably about them. So the limited experience we have with them, I've found the adjustments to be pretty easy. I was able to get them. Uh, dialed in so they work well for me. Um, well, most of the time throughout this ballistic summit, mm -hmm. we've been calling your shots all the way out mm -hmm. to 1,100 yards right. with these. Yep. We've not been using behemoth spotting scopes because of the resolutions here. We can tell you exactly where that bullet hits. Right. Uh, so something you can tell me real quick is uh, what's the purpose of these being able to change the, the distance? Okay, so with binoculars, I release an issue, how far away those lenses are from the actual eyes. Right. I wear lenses, mm -hmm. corrective lenses for my vision. So when I look through binoculars, I leave them uh -huh. down because that's okay. already set to an eye relief. Gotcha. You, since you don't wear glasses, would want to pull those up and then when you pull them and get them bent for your interpupillary, which is what the hinge is for in the center, mm -hmm. then these rest right against your eye socket. Okay. And they're exactly the right distance away from the lenses to have the right eye relief. Very cool. I noticed I carried these around for a while today and I like this strap. It's padded nice. It's a little bit breathable, which I appreciate. What really, um, you put all the time and effort into designing the optics because that's what this is. <laughs> and the first thing that I was like, oh my God, look at that. That's so, such a cool idea is, you know, the covers that, that slip on 
one side at a time and they stay on the straps. You don't lose them. So I, re I really like that as well. So uh, we haven't had a lot of time with them. Uh, not a full review here. Just want to introduce them to you and, and give you, you know, some background on what they are. Where could they get them? If they, if they like the, if they want to get more information, where do they get that? If they want to purchase them, how can they Yeah, so it? more information and a potential purchase can be found at uh, lucidoptics.com. And uh, your local sporting goods store uh, can get their hands on them if they buy through traditional distribution pretty easily. So don't be shy and go and ask that guy at the counter if he's got a set. If he doesn't, have him get them in for you. Excellent. All right, so we're going to keep going and shoot some more, uh, not, not product reviews, but product information videos. So be sure to check the channel on whatever platform uh, you're watching this on because we are all over the place with YouTube and GunStreamer and YouTube and BitChute and who knows where else we'll turn up. We are, we're all over the social Your spectrum. Your heads are everywhere. We are. So uh, go check out the rest of them. What do you think we'll do next? I know. All right, I'm gonna give a little teaser. A little cameo. Yeah, we'll do a little teaser. We're gonna look at something called Little Mo. That's all you get to see right now. All right, but you're gonna to want to find that video and watch it later. But uh, you know, until then, we'll see you at the range. Outstanding.